What the hell did I buy now? Hi there, greetings from Belgium. This is Battle J Real with another unboxing video. Well, it's not actually an unboxing video because as you can see, I've already unboxed them. Uh, these, these first two rows, they were from Zavi, a big purchase from Zavi. And this one uh, is something I have bought here in Belgium. So uh, let me dig right in and see what we've got here. First I'm gonna do all the stuff I've bought on Zavi, which is still my favorite site ever. Very cheap and you can find stuff on there you can't find here in Belgium because we don't have a lot. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I I bought a couple of Clint Eastwood movies. Uh, I'm a big fan of Clint Eastwood and I want to collect all his movies on Blu-ray now. I've got a lot of DVDs but I can sell them now. The first one I've got is Hang Em High. A great movie, one of his very first uh, after the Dollars Trilogy. Um, here's the front. That's the back. There are no extras in this one, but it's okay. Hang em high. Great movie, Clint Eastwood, always a badass. Then we've got uh, a fistful of dollars. That's the only one I needed for my dollars trilogy. Um, we, over here in Belgium we've got uh, Good, the Bad and the Ugly and uh, for a few dollars more, but for some reason this didn't come out here in Belgium so I had to buy it from England, from the UK. There's a couple of nice uh, special features in there. Show the disc. Great movie, still have to rewatch that. Then I've got the complete Dirty Harry collection. Uh, it only costs like 16 euros on Zavi. I don't know how many pounds or dollars that is, but 16 euros, uh, which is not a lot because I, I paid more for the DVD collection. So uh, there it is. It has all five Dirty Harry movies. Uh, it's nice and compact, but I would have preferred five different boxes with, with the different cover covers. You've just got the cover for Dirty Harry here and Sudden Impact. And then the first one you've got. There's also no title on the disc itself, except if you look very close there, you can see the enforcer. That's the first. The back you've got the different covers. The second one, sudden impact and Deadpool. Great movies, great movies. Then we've got this little box set here, the Clint Eastwood uh, Blu-ray collection. It contains eight movies. As you can see here, Coogan's Bluff, Two Mules vs. Sarah, The Beguiled, Play Misty for Me, Joe Kidd, High Plains Drifter, Breezy and the Eager section. Eager sanction. Yeah, that's that's something you get with Savi. Sometimes post office isn't that uh, very nice to my movies. You can pause that if you want to check it out. Let's open it up. So, these are the 8 movies. D 
The Eager Sanction, very very great movie. Uh, it's basically an adventure action movie uh, about mount mountain climbing. I even believe uh, some stuntman died during production of this movie. And Clint Eastwood, Eastwood uh, performed a lot of his own stunts. Just great. I'll show you the disc. Same as the cover. Next up we have High Plains Drifter. One of his best movies. Then we have Breezy. I've never seen this one. It's just a movie directed by Clint Eastwood, he's not in it, so maybe that's the reason I haven't seen it. But uh, gonna watch it now, since this is the first time I've owned it. I've owned it. Then we have Joke It. I've watched it a couple of years ago, but I can't really remember it anymore. But I recall it being a fun movie. Next we have Play Misty For Me, uh, the first movie Clint Eastwood directed. So uh, about a stalker, he works. Clint Eastwood works at uh, as a DJ or something on the radio, and uh, he has a little stalker. Great thriller. Then we have the Beguile, never seen this one either. This one did star Clint Eastwood. Some scenes are among the boldest, most shocking ever witnessed on film, according to this. So, looking forward to watching this. Next up we have Two Mules for Sister Sarah, probably my favorite from this box set. Great western, I love western movies so if you love westerns this uh, will be right up your alley. And then we have Coogan's Bluff. Again, one I watched years ago, but don't really remember much about it. So yeah, that's that's this one, and then we've got another Clint Eastwood box set. It's the 20 film collection. So this is the UK version, uh, the US has another version which contains three other movies. Uh, this is the UK version, so let's check this one out. So this has 20 movies. Uh, have a look at them in a moment. Here's the sides. Uh, it lists the movies on all sides. In the back. open it up. First thing we have in here is this one. This is very nice. It's very shiny also. Um, two documentaries, the Eastwood Factor the extended version and Eastwood directs uh, the untold story. Get Eastwood there. And two movies, all uh, both on DVD, so these are not Blu-rays, DVDs. I've never seen them, but since I'm a real Clint Eastwood fan, I'm looking forward to watching these. And then we've got two different boxes in here. As you can see, it's volume 1 and volume 2. 
it's very compact it's it's it sits nice on the shelf it's, it doesn't take up that much room for 20 movies at least so let's find out which movies first one where eagles there it's a nice uh, war action movie uh, Kelly's Heroes, great movie, great, great movie. It's Iron Don Sutherland and Don Rickles. And we've got the first two Dirty Harry movies, which I don't know why they're in here. They could have replaced them with two other. They're more Warner, Warner Bros. movies that Clint Eastwood has, so I don't know why they put the first two. I mean, the US box has, I think, the fourth Dirty Harry movie as well in this box, so that's even more pointless. So. Yeah, we've got these. So I've got these double now. <laughs> I've got one of his best movies of all time, The Outlaw Josie Wales. I I haven't got this one on DVD yet, so this is the first time I've owned it. I've seen it, but first time owning it. The Gauntlet. I've never seen this one, so looking forward to this one. Bill Ryder, also one of my favorites. Great western movies from the 80s. Hybrid Rich, uh, another one I've never seen. I'm a big fan, but I've never seen some of his best movies. Unforgiven, great movie, won him the Oscar. Perfect World, another great movie. And that's it. First 10. Second volume. You've got Space Cowboys, uh, long time seeing this, uh, so looking forward to watching it again. The Mystic River, I already own this one on Blu-ray, but you know, for the price of this box, which was only um, not even 40 euros, uh, so that's a nice price. But again, a great movie. Million Dollar Baby, I think it's a little overrated, but I still like it. Um, it's been a long time I, I've, I've since I've seen it. It was probably in 2005 when it came out, so still looking forward. Let us from Iwo Jima. Great war movie. Flax of Our Fathers. Not as great as uh, Flax, but as uh, I mean Letters, but still fine movie. Gran Torino. Probably one of my top three movies of Clint Eastwood. A great movie. Invictus, I didn't like this at all. I almost hate it. Um, so, but I'm not a great Nelson Mandela football fan of. I don't know anything about it, so not my cup of tea. Hereafter, which was okay, not great, but okay. And those two I've not not yet seen. J. Edgar and Trouble with the Curve, so can't comment on that. So that's this great. Clint Eastwood set. Anyone who's a Clint Eastwood fan definitely pick this one up. This or the US version which has uh, Firefox in it I believe. Uh, still one I have to see. So great collection. So that's uh, my Clint Eastwood unboxing. Next uh, are a couple of other movies I've bought on Zavi. First up you've got one hour photo. Probably my favorite Robin Williams movie. It's a great movie, great psychological thriller. It has a lot of very nice special features on it. I'm so glad I finally picked this one up. I had it, I didn't have it on, on DVD yet. And it's not available in Blu-ray over here, so... The same with this one. Red Heat, Sarn Schwarzenegger, and James Belushi. I saw this one a couple of days ago. Yeah, it's not that great. I mean, I didn't grow up with this one, so maybe that's that's why I didn't like it as much as other movies. But I don't know. I didn't grow up with this one either, and I love this. Lock Up starring Stallone. It was a very, very great movie. I, I love this. It, it's 80s cheese, but 
great movie. I can't believe I never saw this one as a kid. Then we've got Blazing Saddles. Mel Brooks Blazing Saddles. It's a long time since I've seen this one, so I'm looking forward to seeing it, seeing it again. Uh, also, it contains Ultraviolet. And that's the disc. Then, one I haven't seen Dark Star from John, John Carpenter. Um, yeah, I haven't seen it, so I. I I like John Carpenter just fine, so I think I should like this movie. Uh, two cuts, theatrical and uh, director's cut, and a documentary of two hours. So great! Again, looking forward. Also, a reversible sleeve, so you can if you don't like this one. Let's try this one. Then I've got Dumblood Stumbelina. I never grew up with this one, but my girlfriend did, so I actually mostly bought it for her. But I've seen it. It's fun. It's okay. Then we have Watership Down. Great animated movie. Pretty grim as well. A couple of these uh, cute little bunnies uh, die. Kinda bloody. So it's been a long time since I've seen this one. Again, I, I, I bought most of these Blu-rays because I haven't seen them in a long time really want to see them, but I just can't watch DVDs anymore. Then we have uh, Mr. Papa's Penguins. It's not a great movie, but it only costs 3 euros on Zavi. Uh, it's a triple play, Blu-ray, DVD and digital copy. So yeah, that's it. That's the DVD. That's a digital copy, and that's the Blu-ray. I've got another great John Carpenter movie, one I have seen, Big Trouble in Little China, the Arrow release. Uh, it's a great cover. Do a great movie. Uh, it has a lot of extras. You can pause that if you want to see it. That's a disc. Another reversible sleeve with the original poster art on it. And then we have a little card of other Arrow releases. I don't owe too many uh, Arrow movies. I've got Battle Royale and uh, Cinema Paradiso. And there's another one in here, which I'm gonna look at in a minute. We have a booklet. Always fun booklets. Then uh, the other release from, from Arrow is the Burbs, the Steelbook Edition. Now this wasn't cheap, but I really wanted to see it again. I haven't got it on DVD, I saw it as a kid. And I really wanted to see this one, and why not go for the best version of it. It's the car with skull heads. Another booklet. the inside.
a booklet containing photos, various information and production. For the special features on it, you can pause that if you want. Best thing about it, uh, that it contains a work print, which Joe, Joe Dante uh, delivered himself for this Blu-ray release. So, yeah, great. Then we have a steelbook. This is Spinal Tap. Great, very shiny steelbook. Very simple, which I like. Great movie. This is the disc. And the inside. The only downside about this steelbook is uh, there aren't any subtitles. Uh, some of you don't mind, but I would like subtitles, even just in English. That's the information, special features. Quite a lot of it. Yeah. And the last movies I got from Zavi are the Toxic Avenger movies. Which we will we'll be looking at right now. First one I've got in Steelbook. There you got Toxy. Great, great 80s classic cult movie. The back. It's the disc. The inside, very shiny. And the extras are. Japanese cut is on this one. Not in Blu-ray quality, but still. Then we've got the Toxic Avenger Part 2, which I liked even more than Part 1. So the, these are bad movies, but they're fun. They're meant to be bad. Also, these doesn't have any subtitles, unfortunately. The disc, not a reversible sleeve, which I may even like more. Yeah. Then we've got the Toxic Avenger Part Three, or the Last Temptation of Toxie. This one I haven't seen. It's the first time released on Blu-ray. And the first time it's never been released actually in, in Belgium, so a lot of special features. And another reversible sleeve. Which looks like this, the original poster art. And we've got Citizen Taxi, Toxic Avenger 4. Great cover. Haven't seen this one either. 10 hours of bonus features. Probably containing a couple of com commentaries, yeah. And a full feature length documentary, which could be very interesting. That's the disc. And another reversal sleeve. I like this one more. Yeah. And next we have a couple of stuff I, I bought here in Belgium. So these aren't from Zavi. 
First is a Back to the Future Steelbook. I already own this one on Blu-ray, but it was five euros, so I can't that let let that one go. So one of my favorite movies. I just had to have a steelbook. It's actually you can see number one. So it's it's the same disc as the trilogy box that I have. Yeah, I'll show you the extras. All the exact same extras I've already seen. Now we've got Sin City 2, a Dame to Kill for, Steelbook Edition. Couldn't let that one go either. It was 15, 15 euros for the 3D version, 2D version, and the DVD. Sadly, the DVD version, Steelbook version of this one, has uh, Jessica Alba on the cover. So I like that one more than this, but it's still okay. Not a great movie, not as good as the first. Got some uh, behind the scenes there. So I don't like these kind of steelbooks which just contain regular DVD back. I, I, I want a different picture for the back. Just like this one. This, this is cool. This is just... I can buy the DVD if I want. It's just the same. There you go. That's the 3 and 2 -ray, Blu -ray, 2D Blu-ray and that's the DVD inside you've got the Eva Green yeah and now I've got this collection of Digibooks um, these, these were 5 euros each so I just bought them all I haven't seen half of these movies yet but, uh, I just bought them all. First is uh, To Kill a Mockingbird, which was uh, I just seen this yesterday for the first time ever. Great movie, great movie. Shame I haven't watched it before. It has a lot of extras. Uh, a couple of feature length uh, documentaries, even. That's great. Just show this one the back there we go and the booklet All kinds of posters next up we have Spartacus I have seen this one and I didn't really like it that much but it's a classic, so I had to own it actually. Not really a big fan of this one. Also, Ben Hur. Not really a big fan. But I can see appeal. Look at the booklet. Then we have Pillow Talk, another one I've seen for the first time yesterday. I never even heard of this movie before before I bought it. Uh, it's a great movie. It's it's a fun. It's a romantic comedy from the fifties. Uh, it's a fun movie. Yeah. Let's see inside the disc. And the booklet. Fun movie, I recommend it. Then we have Atonement. Not very fond of these uh, costume movies, but my girlfriend is, so I actually bought it more for her. It's the back. disc and the booklet. And we have a 
another one I've bought for my girlfriend. Uh, Mamma Mia! It's very corny, very cheesy. Very cheesy movie, but it's it's still fine. It's it's a fun movie. If you like ABBA, you probably like this one too. Yeah. Got the disc. And the booklet. Not going to true go through every Then we've got the first Bridget Jones's diary. Which I think is a fun British movie. It's only the first one. It would be fun if they included the second one as well, but that wasn't a really good movie, so this is kinda neat, just like a diary. <laughs> And one I haven't seen yet, Out of Africa. Actually, I'm not really looking forward to this one, but it's a classic movie. I suppose I should have seen it. There we go. The disc. And that booklet. And the last digibook, also the last movie, All Quiet on the Western Front, the original from I think 1930. I haven't seen this one either, so I'm looking forward to this. It has a silent version on it, it's a fun extra. Get the disc. And the booklet. See for five euros I I just can't leave it lying there in the store. So yeah, that's all I, I bought a couple of weeks. Uh, there's another big eBay uh, purchase coming on on its way. Uh, shouldn't be that long. Uh, I will do an, a real unboxing video of that one. I will open the box on that one so um, yeah take care and I'll see you then bye bye greetings from Belgium